Welcome to it's Rafiq. In this video we are discussing about syllabus of class 9 computer science. Also we will practice the questions for practical examination. At first uh, there are 5 chapters included. Basic concept of computer system, operating system, office applications, all the parts are included part 1, part 2, part 3. Then introduction to the internet and ethics in IT. And each chapter or lesson will carry 2 to 10 mark means uh, total we can count as uh, 5 and to 7 chapters or 7 units and each will carry 2 to 10 marks so according to that uh, you will do preparation for your examination and for practical examination you will have to see chapter 3 and chapter 11 is for project your school will give project according to that you will have to create it chapter 3 you will have to see ms word from ms word you can see creating biodata creating uh, notice creating applications etc and from excel you can see uh, creating mark sheet uh, representing numerical information creating chart etc and powerpoint just basic uh, PowerPoint, uh, adding animation to the PowerPoint, adding transition to the PowerPoint, etc. At first, we'll do MS Word practical. We'll learn here how you can create your biodata in MS Word 2007 or any version of MS Word. At first, you will have to open MS Office in your computer. So, you can type Word and search it. So what version you want to create, you can open that one. Let us create in 2016. So you will choose blank document. The page will appear like that. If you want to make it zoom, then you can do from here, from the status bar. By default it is 100%, you can make it large. I am doing it large as uh, so that you can see it a clear view. Now. At first, we'll have to write as biodata at center position. So you will take the alignment as center. And by default, the text size, text size of MS Word is 11 point. You can change into 16 or 14 point according to your need. And the uh, text style also you can select according to your need. I am here selecting Times New Roman. So here at top, we will again select bold and underline and we will write bio data. Then we will go to the next line for that we will press enter key. And now we will remove underline and bold. As you can see, though I have selected Times New Roman but still the style is Calibri. So again you select the content and uh, on the style you type times new roman and enter you can uh, select a new style whatever you want but uh, my suggestion when you are creating official document always choose a standard format don't take a stylish format for that now we will take the alignment as left now we'll decrease the size of text we can take it 12 or 14 i'm taking it as 14 and we can make it when we are creating biodata at first we'll write personal information or basics information whatever you can say this will be a subheading heading is biodata so i am writing here personal information you can also make the letter is uh, all capital you can make it uh, underline now go to the next line remove underline here we'll write at first like a uh, name then we can click at center position as you can see here my page uh, length is 18 so my midpoint will be 9 or we can take it as 7 at 7 we can click and set a tab space 
so after name when I'll click tab key it will automatically move to 7 on the margin and here we can give colon sign one space and name let the name be be node Sharma then we can have a father name and tab space colon one space then the name of father let it be Vikas Sharma mother's name You can give any imaginary information as we are doing it for practice, not for any purposes. After that, you can give date of birth. You can write either full or you can write shortcut. I am writing it full here. Date of birth and date of birth either you can write uh, like this way. Suppose 1st January 2020. Or this way also you can like like zero one zero one two thousand five sorry zero one zero one two thousand five after that gender here you can give your gender that is male so this personal information done after that you can have one more heading you can give one more blank space then you can write here contact contact information and this one also will make it underline for that you select the text and click on you to underline now I'll go to next line remove the underline there you will write address And here you will write the address. Let it be uh, ABC apartment. This pool. Guwahati. Then we can give pin 781. 06 then Assam after it we'll have a next important thing that is phone number phone that phone number you can give any number imaginary numbers you can give after that email ID email ID and there you will write your email id let it be abc at the rate xyz.com now you'll see on your email id one blue color link will be high blue color will be highlighted to remove that you can right click on the email id and you click your remove hyperlink then it will be removed after contact information you can add academic information or educational information let it be academic then information then this part also will do highlight uh, sorry underline for that you will select you then we will go come to next here you can create a table we will create a table for that we will go to insert then we will go to table option and we will select insert from here we will select number of column and number of rows let the column be 4 and rows 2 at present then click on ok here we will make the first column little sorter second column little large then this way we can do it at first we will write serial number now we will see on the table it's coming as underline so we will have to remove the underline while we write so I am removing it first we can write 
सीरियल नंबर और एग्जाम देन बोर्ड देन परसेंटेज देन पासिंग ईयर यू कैन हैव अदर कॉलम नेम आल्सो एज वेल that exam box let let the exam be hslc passing year 2024 percentage 85 also oh, in board i am writing the year actually it should be sceba seba and passing year 2024 again suppose uh, here you can see I have to add one more educational information, but there are no more cells. Then you can press tab key, then automatically one more row will be added. There you can write your next examination that can be HS. Let the board be CBSC. Then percentage let it be 82, and passing year 2026. Now suppose my academic academic information is completed. Then we'll come out from the table. We'll click outside the table and click enter key to come down now we can zoom out to see a preview of our bar data so we have added this one personal information contact information academic information then we can add a extra additional information or like professional information if you do some professional course that you can write after that you will write that you can give declaration here you can write declaration like a declaration there you will write a short message that as per my knowledge all information included here are true if anything found wrong for it uh, i will be responsible so this will be your declaration part and after that there will be two more things that is place and date also in right hand side there will be one more place that is called signature so this is the format of your biodata this way you can create your biodata in ms word for saving the file you can press control s and you can select your location like this pc documents or any other folder where you want to save and write your name after that click on save this way you can create your biodata in ms word 2016 or the same step will be followed in event 2007 Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.